Hi CCC family, it's Dawn Marie with Custom Cuffy Crochet and today I'm going to teach you how to make this really cool daisy granny square. Now this would be great for anything, blankets, purses, um, any kind of shopping bags, um, just anything you think you would like to make this. So I'm missing a nail today. I've got paint all over my hands. I'm so sorry, but I've been doing some other projects. So yeah, we'll just have to deal with that. But yeah, this is um, actually pretty easy for the granny square. The actual daisy itself is actually going to be um, from another video. I'm going to put that in the description box below if you want to look up how to make this daisy. I will show a little bit of it today, explain a little bit of how you need to make it a little different to make this granny square but to make the actual daisy like I said look in the description box below I'll have it as the first thing and I'll also try to put it in my end screen and possibly in my card so that it'll pull up easy for you guys okay so um, please like share and subscribe hit that notify me bell below sharing helps more than anything guys I really appreciate it and I appreciate all of your support okay so let's get into the materials so for your materials today you're gonna need a size e hook or a 3.5 millimeter hook. We're using a smaller hook than usual today. I'm using a um, sport weight yarn. So I'm using a smaller size yarn. I think this is a three. Um, so yeah, it's just a smaller yarn. It's like a turquoise green blue color for the back. And then the daisy is white and yellow and that's also in sport weight yarn as well. Um, and you will need a pair of scissors and you will need a darning needle. Now I use a smaller darning needle because I'm using smaller yarn, but if you don't have one, it should still work out fine anyway, okay? So let's get into the tutorial. Okay guys, so I know you hate it when I talk, but I gotta explain this to you. Um, like I said about the other video for the daisy, the only difference between that and this one is the fact that in this last, for the row, for the white uh, bullion stitch that I'm pulling in, I'm doing it in the back loop only, all the way around, because I need these front loops to work in my granny square, okay? So just make sure when you follow that video, if you do this daisy, and if you do any kind of flower and just wanted to know how to do the granny square around it, make sure that you work your last row of your flower into the back loop only, okay? And I am gonna show you real quick, um, Maybe you're already familiar with the bullion stitch, but I do wanna show you how I'm working this into the back loop. So I'm gonna pull up from my last stitch right here. And so this is how you do the stitch. So I'm just gonna wrap it around my hook going the opposite direction that I normally would 25 times. That's also a little different from my other video. So what I've done is I've made this dizzy big, daisy bigger by doing 25 rounds for my around my hook for my bullion stitch. And I did um, six, uh, six in the middle, then uh, 12, then 18, then 24, 30 and then 36 okay so a count of 36 ended for the middle and so I'm going to go around this 25 24 times one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one 22, 23, 24, and on the 25th one, I'm going to go over like I would normally do to keep going, but then I'm going to push up and pull down, and then I'm going to go through all of these loops, okay? And then I'm going to go into my next stitch in the back loop only, then I'm going to pick up my working yarn here above the bullion, and I'm going to pull it through for a big single crochet, okay? So when I pull this through, I'm trying to make sure you can see it and that I can catch it properly. Going through this back loop, I'm gonna pull up and then go through. And so you see that's a nice big loose single crochet there. And so let's do that one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. On the 25th one, I'm gonna hold this in place with my thumb. I'm gonna push down and push up with this finger over here at the same time and then slide through all of these stitches. And then I'm going to go into the back loop only, okay? So you would just keep doing that till you got around, finish as I show you in the other video. And then once you get the daisy done, work in all your ends and then we'll be back in just a second and I'll show you how to finish this granny square. Okay, so we're gonna turn our daisy or finish daisy with all of our ends worked in over to the back side. And we're gonna start working on this granny square. You can come in wherever you want. I'm gonna come in right where I tied off over here. Um, and I'm gonna take my hook and I'm gonna be working into these stitches, uh, these stitches that we missed purposely from before, okay? So those are the ones I'm gonna be working in all the way around. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in this uh, green blue yarn with a chain one. And then I'm going to pull this. Now you can fold your flower down to make it easier to work around. When you turn it over, it's gonna be all a mess, but you can put it right back together again. So then we're going to chain two, and into the same space, we're going to put a double crochet. Then we're going to chain two and put two more double crochets. Then you're going to double crochet across eight in these loops right here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then in your next stitch, you're going to make another corner. So you're going to go right into here and you're going to put two double crochets, chain two, and two more double crochets. And then you're going to do eight double crochets again. Then you'll do another corner, then eight double crochets until you have four corners. And then when we get to the end, I'll meet you back up again. Okay, so after you finished um, all of that all around, we just finished our eight double crochets across. I'm going to join right here at the top of this chain of uh, two that we did, and I'm gonna pull through, okay, with a slip stitch. And then just like you do any granny square, we're just gonna keep going with this. So now I'm going to chain three, and I'm going to uh, double crochet into my next stitch. And then when I get to my corner here, I'm going to do two double crochets. And then I'm going to chain two and then do two more double crochets. And then make sure you pull over and get into this first stitch. And then you're gonna double crochet all the way across and the top of each of these double crochet stitches. You're working one double crochet, and then when you get to your next corner, you're gonna be doing the same thing, two double crochets, chain two, do two double crochets, and you're just gonna keep doing that all the way around, and you're gonna do that for three rows. So let's look at the back of this one. So we've got one, two, three rows, and then I have a row of half double crochet, and then when I did the row of half double crochet in the corners, I just did a half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet. 
okay? And then I came around for this edging, and I'm gonna show you how to do that, but let's go ahead and finish this granny square like I just showed you. Go ahead and finish it up, I'll show you the back again. And then when we get back, I'm gonna show you how to do this edging around here, okay? So again, do three rows of this double crochet granny square. To finish it off, you're going to do a row of half double crochet in the same color. But when you get to the corners, you're only gonna do one half double crochet, chain one, one half double crochet. And that's just to tighten this up a little bit in those corners, and then we'll do the edging. So I'll see you back in just a minute. Okay guys, so I just went ahead and finished the second row. I'm not gonna keep going because it's just, you know, for the video, we don't wanna make it too long either. Um, but I do wanna show you this edging, um, and I do wanna show you what it looks like. So when you flip it back over, your daisy is gonna be all in a disarray. And you might like it like that, but I just wanna show you, all you have to do is just fluff these back out and they will go back into perfect order. So there's no uh, problem with that. It is gonna look all funky every time you have to, uh, you know, manipulate it with your hands to do the granny square in the back, okay? But so to show you how to do this really cool little edging that I have right here, um, I want to pull out my white color again. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start in a corner and I'm going to bring in my white yarn with a chain one. And then I'm going to do a chain one again. I'm gonna go back in here and do a single crochet, chain one, and then do a single crochet, okay? And then I'm going, I've got this loop on my hook. I'm gonna go into my very next stitch, pull up, and then I'm just going to turn my work like this and then go through. So again, I'm gonna go into my next stitch, pull up, turn my work, and go through. And again, go into my next stitch, pull up, turn my work, go through. And again, pull up, turn my work, go through. Okay? And then my next, pull up, turn, pull through. And again, pull up, turn my work, go through. Okay, so it's really easy. You're just gonna go all the way down and when you get to your next corner, you're gonna do a single crochet, chain one, and another single crochet. Now, as I said, you're gonna have a much bigger granny square by this point and you'll have that row of half double crochet as well. Might be a little bit harder to find your corners. If needed, as you're going along for that row of half double crochets, you can put a stitch marker there so that you can easily find them later because there's just gonna be a chain one in between those, okay? So just finish up with this, keep doing that all the way around, and you will end up with this beautiful granny square. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any um, questions or anything, of course you can ask below in the YouTube section. Um, but if you don't feel comfortable with that, I have a Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, and a Gmail below so you can find those. And thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you again soon. Happy crocheting. Bye-bye.